Hello everyone, welcome to week three of World Geography. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of what we'll be covering throughout the week. So far, throughout our first two weeks, we have completed icebreakers and gotten to know one another. And we've also practiced the basic geography skills and terms that we need to know in order to navigate throughout this course. So we focused a lot on longitude and latitude latitude and the different types of maps that we've learned about, along with using our anal analysis skills to dissect the key in different maps and cover the five themes of geography. Make sure that you review 1.1 and 1.2 along with 1.3 in your textbook electronically on Sabas. We will also be reviewing, having a quick review over the main um, worksheets that we've completed in class. Make sure you have those so that you can be ready for any quizzes that take place regarding those three lessons. So the lessons that we're going to be covering are migration and population. We're going to be discussing why the world's population has grown and how it has been distributed, people in the environment, culture in society, and cultural diffusion, which a lot of you have been excited to cover and connect to your own personal experiences. So the main question that we're going to be focusing on are, the main questions that we're going to be focusing are, what are the causes and effects of population growth, movement by people, and urbanization? We're going to be looking at trends in analysis and um, analyzing different graphics and maps for us to understand this information. So when it comes to population and population density, we're going to be talking about how human how the human population has increased dramatically in the past 200 years and how it's expected to grow. So by looking at this visual information, what can you tell? How can you kind of predict the amount of people that are expected to be in 2,100. So that's a little far off, but from what you see, how many, how, how do you think, or how can you estimate the population from this line graph? Then we're going to be exploring regions. So we've differentiated countries and regions previously in our first two weeks. We're gonna be utilizing the key to dissect and indicate information um, by understanding the aspects presented in these multicolor coded maps. Then we're going to be moving on to forms of migration. So when people from move one, from one country to another, they leave their home country, they immigrate, okay, which means for you to kind of enter a new country and learn a new language and new customs. What do they do throughout this process? What causes them to leave? What causes them to want to go to somewhere new and change their ways? What are the challenges to urbanization when we move from a rural area to a suburban or urban area, a city? Then we're going to break this down even further by looking at culture, what defines culture? What are the features of culture? What, how are families and societies, like what do they consist of? What are the obligations of certain family members according to their culture? We'll look at the different languages and diversity found in regions. And then we're gonna look at the positive and negative effects of cultural diffusion. So here, you'll be looking at a couple of very fun activities where you'll be able to conduct interviews with your family members and really look at different sources of information in the form of galleries, in the form of magazine articles, videos, movies, and see what cultural diffusion actually is. So, we are also going to be looking at how humans affect their environment, the causes and effects of deforestation, environmental issues, that we have the obligations of, as active citizens for change to take part in, not only to discuss 
the zombie activity, the interview I mentioned, and really looking at these key terms of urbanization and industrialization. Some of the resources that I would like you guys to take a look at are the heritage articles that I will be posting and doing throughout our group activities and discussions. And we're going to be using the New York Times to look at current events and link to them, link them to the content that we are practicing and the skills that we're practicing. That's basically it for this week. Hopefully we'll get through it all. If you have any questions or you need to practice further, please reach out to me and I will do my very best to help you and keep you on track.